A very good evening to you. I hope you are well. The time has just struck six o'clock, which can only mean one thing. It's time for a brand new one day special. And we've also got a TV launch as well. A DVD that won't be back and colors to die for. We are talking the beautiful watercolor of Matthew Palmer. Yes, indeed, inspiration that we were showing you there. Inspiration, but inspiration about what? What are we painting this time? Well, this time it is the TV launch, and I genuinely mean a TV launch of the brand new brushes that we're looking. These are the Sky and Cloud brush set, never been seen before. Uh, there's the brand new on the television. We'll get our Matthews to talk about them uh, because they are made for a purpose. They are going to give you the perfect clouds, they're going to give you the perfect sky, they're going to give you the perfect washes, and yet, if you're just thinking, well, that's all well and good, but I need a whole picture I can't just paint a cloud and send that no they were also good for your other pictures as well to do your trees and everything that you need but before I go into more detail about all of this let's interview uh, the interview let's introduce actually the man himself it wouldn't be Matthew Palmer without Matthew Palmer hello how are you bud? I'm excited to be back and excited to bring some new brushes I think interview would have a treat we could do a full-on interview think it'd be great. we could yeah, do good. this Little chair, chair, cross legs, <gasps> like, a cruise, like, a like a cruise ship style. Yeah, it works. For I me. used to love them on cruises. It was the easiest hour of my life. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> just used to sit there and let them talk. Just <laughs> tell me everything. Uh, but the, well, this is a TV launch. It is. Yes. Two brand yes. new brushes. We've got colours in here as well. A DVD that has been made just for this set, mm -hmm. and you've also thrown in uh, your watercolour paper pack. And so we've sort of got everything we need to sort of start creating beautiful skylines. And, and you were saying in our meetings before the shows that the brushes are not just for clouds and skies. Yeah, so for me, um, I wanted to design a brush which was, which solved probably one of the biggest fears that people have about uh, watercolours and acrylics and oils, and that's painting skies with clean washes and beautiful clouds. So I've taken a very traditional brush and, we've, and I've changed the shape, as you can see. Because if you rotate the brush to the side slightly, it looks like a standard large watercolour brush with a beautiful point on it. But if you drop it, it's like an oval brush. It's got that beautiful slope, and that slope makes all the difference. This is a world's first, folks. This brush is a large, it's around about a size 20 brush. Now, if you were to go and buy a size 20 imitation sable brush like this is, because this is premium air, you're going to be paying almost £30 just for the one brush. Here we've got two. We've got a size 20 and a size 8. So these are your perfect brushes for skies, clouds and washers and trees. I mean, for me, I should be calling these brushes the Matthew Palmer Sky cloud wash and tree brush but you know something we didn't have space on andal so we just, <laughs> we just we could have used the other side there weren't space on andal love to put that so we just kept it as sky and cloud but it if you look around the studio you can see we're surrounded by these beautiful <coughs> skies and clouds and this is what is honestly almost two years in the making bringing these brushes to you and that's just one part of the one day special just one part I absolutely adore them there is so much more uh, that you can do with these now you can go for the brushes individually if you want the details for those are there at the bottom of the screen now there's a lot of people doing that as well there's a lot of people just throwing the bottom now I don't have a lot of the brushes on their own I will tell you now okay I haven't got a load they're 19 pounds and 99 pence on their own so take this price here here and then look at what's here 
So for the sheer fact, your first flexible payments, yes, are the brushes alone. And then you have now already done. From that, you are then getting your DVD, you're getting your colours, and you're also getting your watercolour cardstock also included that you've got in there. At £39 and 86 pence, but then you can do clouds and skies that look like these. On the DVD as well, we get three different sort of daytime settings. Yes, we do. So what we've done, as well as, as, well as have the brushes today, we've filmed exclusively just before Christmas with the uh, mindset that was coming to launch them today. So we have put together a DVD that is exclusive to the craft store. So this bundle, this DVD is not available anywhere. It's got three projects. Uh, it's got you painting a wonderful kind of, you can see here, that classic kind of fluffy cloud, which we've all seen, but are are famously quite difficult but these brushes make it easy and then of course we've, it shows you how to use the brushes for creating landscapes and trees as well it's not just about um, painting skies and that's important these are the everyday go-to brushes for washers and detail because they're beautiful pointy you've got a sunset as well very similar to the one that's actually at the back of the um, brushes on the counter that's on the DVD as well and we have got a nice dramatic moonlit sky effect. So that DVD with the brush is only available here on the craft store as part Fif of this one day special. It is 15% of the bundle now has already gone. 15% of the bundle's already gone. If you if you like Matthew Palmer's style of working, because it, it is like a full masterclass. So if you've done stuff um, on the Zooms and he does the watercolor.tv and all that, so if you've done the Sunday classes, you're gonna like the DVD because it's worked in the same style. It takes you from start to finish of a full work and you don't need a lot of equipment. Once you've got your equipment, you're good to go. So we've done the brushes and we've done the DVD. The DVD on its own is worth £10. You can go for it on its own. Once it's gone, it's gone, I feel, with that one. From there, we've got your three colours uh, that we're looking at here. Now, once again, these are not tester pots. These are generic, proper size SAA pots. These are not something you throw in my and go, oh, just have a little dab, have a little go and then come back and get the real ones. These are full size. Yeah, so water. these are 15 mil tubes and 15 mil in, in watercolour is a lot of paint because remember, it's, it makes a bucket full, it really does. So you've got the three colours, including the brand new, and this is a brand new colour that came out just for Christmas. This is the super opaque white. So many people have problems with white paint. It goes on, it's hard to paint with. It's like painting with toothpaste sometimes. That's oh. something you should try. Um, but here we've got a colour that is is a nice flow it's a nice flow and also it stays opaque when it dries and that is really important with this color so i've chosen three colors that you probably won't have in your watercolor stash we've gone for natural white the new white uh, we've gone for the dark skin tone a beautiful rusty sort of color and then a natural green design to replicate nature so you can use these three colors alongside any other colors maybe you've got primary colors at home this is the perfect bolt on. It's a nice addition to this uh, one day special. So it's worth having a little look at the three colours. I've also got a pick and mix on the show as well. If you want to add more colours, uh, I can do that later as well. We've got uh, the pick and mix on the show. But we don't stop there. Not only are you going to get your two brand new brushes, TV launch, never been seen before. Not only are you going to get your DVD that you're going to get as well. So that's that £20, £10. We're talking at £30 already just for this. So if we spin this around, I think it's £39 for your one day special. So £39, this is 30 already. So for £9.86, I'm going to give you three of the colourways that you are going to get here. And then five sheets of the watercolour paper pack, 300 GSM that you're looking at. Um, and this is something that, Matthew, you work long and hard to get the right paper. You just wouldn't put your name on any old paper. Think, oh yeah, it's watercolour, it's watercolour, because it's not. This is what you use time after time. And sometimes that is the problem that people try with watercolour. They just go inferior. I'm going to use the word, I don't care. Uh, they use inferior paper. And sometimes I think, oh, I can't watercolour. It's not for me, but it's the, what you paint onto sometimes can hinder and say whether you're good or bad. Absolutely, I mean, you've only got to look on the Facebook page, Matthew Palmer Artist, and you'll see people talking about this paper all the time, how much of a struggle they've had using cheaper, as you mentioned, inferior papers, and then bringing in a cotton paper, which I designed 
and it is a beautiful surface that all the pictures I've painted for the past I want to say 12 years have been on this paper it is, it's a pleasure to use and the reason because it's cotton and it holds the water think of cotton as something that's like a sponge it soaks the water it stays in there and you can work for such a long time it's a beautiful paper five big sheets of paper in this one it is and you're getting those for nine pounds and 86 pence those and the paints as well that you're going to get and then everything else is what this is ridiculous deal absolutely ridiculous deal uh, then you can spread the cost as well onto two interest-free flexible payments of 19 pounds and 93 pence but i can make that even better paypal were over 30 pounds anything over uh, 30 pounds to 2,000 pounds I can split onto three using PayPal so if you're using PayPal it'd be 13 pounds and 28 pence today 13 28 across three months all the T's and C's are on the website for PayPal as well do check them out uh, but it's worth having a little look so if you're thinking I like it I want to go I can't really afford two flexible payments I could go for three let's go for three flexible payments and use PayPal 247 235 is your item number 20 percent of the overall stock now has gone 20 percent of that original stock and we're only 11 minutes in to our first of five live hours 247 235 is your item number 39 pounds and 86 pence now something i do need to mention though uh, is the uh, the SAA membership that we've got on here. Now you'll find them on the website, jump to the website, you'll find it on there, £45 on this one. Because our website's changed now, it's slightly harder to find the link. It's just there, look, right by the picture. Just click here. So you'll see your mouse changes to a finger. Very technical to see, don't we? Uh, just click it, it'll take you through. Now, why do you do this? Why not buy it from us? Because you won't get your freebies if you buy it through our website. You need to buy it through the SAA website as well. But if you're thinking, this is all well and good, but what the heck is the SAA? Matthew, what is it if we've never seen it before? That's a good question. I that? thought that. It's a I great question. The, the SAA is a giant art group. The AA is pretty much all artists, so... £45, okay, a year's membership to the biggest art group in the world. And they have one mission, that's to keep you painting. I've been a member of the SAA uh, since about 1994, and I'm still a member to this day. So I, I joined as a leisure painter as a beginner. There's lots of different levels, but a £45 membership is for leisure painters that just want to just enjoy. You get loads of tuition online uh, via the video on demand service, which has got thousands and thousands of hours of tuition for all the mediums all of, as part of this membership you also get access to this wonderful kit and because it's a, a craft store membership offer we put together a really cool little offer so as well as getting all your nice um, sort of standard membership perks like the video on demand a beautiful glossy magazine called paint which comes direct to your door that's full of step-by-step -step articles by the likes of myself and all of the artists as well you get a catalogue here as well and it's a UK-based mail-order art supply company. You get free postage if you're a member as well, which is cool. And you even get loyalty points. Every time you buy something, it, it goes back. We'll give you a fiver's worth of loyalty points to spend straight away, so you can knock a fiver off the membership fee. And if you join via the non-pink link on the website, which changes to a finger, is that right? Changes yeah. to a finger now. If you click it when it changes to a finger, rather than add to basket, skip past that, you're going to get these two paints here, the two... Matthew Palmer, uh, natural colours here. There's skin tone light, skin, uh, skin tone dark. Two of the gold standard brushes. Now, the gold ones are a beautiful sable, very similar to the hair that's in the one-day special brushes, and a pack of practice watercolour paper. So I reckon all that combines about 45 quid. I would say, I don't want to be sure, but maybe we could work it out. About 45 pounds worth of free, but that you won't get anywhere else. So it's a free membership, basically. So so it's worth looking at. Look now, people are adding this to their basket. You do not know. This is the only time I'm ever going to say. Do not add this to your basket. You are looking for the fickle finger of fate. When you found the fickle finger of fate, go over the link. You will see. So you get your normal little pointy arrow. Let's move off it. So move off it, Ross. Move off it. So we get the normal. There you go. Look, normal arrow fickle finger of fate that's what you want that will change your fate to be an artist we don't want you scrolling all the way to the bottom oh there's me look pointing again there's another fickle finger of fate don't go here don't order it i don't know why we put order on the page to be honest i generally don't um i don't know just click there 
just click where it says SAA is what you are looking at on this one. Then you join today. Okay, do not buy it through our website. Click. Uh, click here in the membership pages with the fickle finger of fate. That's what you're looking for. The little fickle finger. Give it a little click. Uh, and then it's worth having a little go. Okay, we are very, very busy. We're flying at the door of the one-day special. I knew we would. A quarter of the stock's already gone. It's a world launch, world TV launch. Never been seen before. The brushes, never been seen. White, brand new, also in the bundle. Do you know what normally? Normally we're waiting for months and we're, we're normally on the last train. And the, we've already got the white. The, no, we're, we're right up there. We're in first class today. We have got that brand new white only released just before Christmas. The two new brushes, not anywhere else. You've never seen them on the TV before. So this may be your first time of seeing them ever. You're going to get your paper. You're going to get your DVD that was made just for this one day special. Right then, let's go over uh, to the man himself. Let's start painting with Palmer. Painting with Palmer. So Sunday series, get, waiting to, to go. Need to get a copyright on that. Is anybody from the BBC watching <laughs> or Channel Five? Or oh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday afternoon, just after Antiques Roadshow. Oh, painting with slot for painting with Palmer. painting with Palmer in a field somewhere I can in a country see it house. Now. Happy days, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what we've got? There we are. What we've got? Mm. Not that one. That one. I hope we're from BBC is watching. Um, <laughs> so, so what we've actually got is we've got these brand new brushes, folks, which we've been working in close uh, company with the SAA to develop these. And if you've seen any of my or you've had any of my previous brushes, then you know that they're nice quality. What's different about these ones is it's the shape. It's it's taking a very old-fashioned formula, a standard brush, and adding a little bit of spit and polish, improving them. The bristle is a premium quality synthetic sable. These are beautiful brushes. And if you just have a look around online at the price of, of a size 20 sable brush, it's about 30 quid. Here, if we look at both of the brushes together, if we look at them at this angle, it's a beautiful round brush with a beautiful point. Look at the point on that brush. Now, that looks like a standard brush, but if we turn them to the side, it's a straight no. edge with a curve, and that's what makes painting skies and big washes easier. Look how we can squeeze the brush, and it, it creates these beautiful effects for lifting out, and it's, it's such a wonderful tool, honestly. So, if you're just buying the brushes loan, 20 quid, great, but look at all those wonderful goodies that you get, you know, including all the wonderful paints, the paper, and of course, the DVD will show you how to use them. So I've got a sheet of the watercolour paper here, um, and I'm going to turn this that direction because it's sometimes nice to paint a smaller picture. You know, if you're new to painting, maybe it's the way you want to go about it. So you can chop the paper in half, so already you're getting 10 sheets, really. So if we take a piece of this paper, uh, masking tape, and I want to pop it there and paint the sky at the bottom, it's a good size to work on, really. Um, you might notice I've stuck it to a board as well, but if you've just got like an old sketch pad, I mean, hanging around at the back of the studio, if this is going to cause chaos or not, I don't know, but we've got a, an old sketchbook that I've had for years, and this is kind of like a, a bit of masking tape to stick it down. That's a good way to work for most people. Um, and of course, we've got water and some kitchen paper as well. So the three colours from the One Day Special are colours that are not standard off-the-shelf colours. That's why I've included them. The white, we spoke about it. You've got the green, you've got the skin tone dark. So if you've got some other colours hanging around, like some, some primary colours, some red, some yellow or orange, and some blue, a perfect addition. Of course, we do have the pick and mix as well for any colours that want to go alongside um, to work with them. So I've squirted them in the palette. I've not squirted the white in the palette because white is best used pretty much straight from the tube. We'll get to that later, okay? So this is the plan. I've taken quite a few colours from the pick and mix, primary colours, so I've got a red, I've got a yellow, and I've got a blue hanging around in there. Okay. And I'm going to use those alongside the three colours that we've got in the... One special. So let's take the big brush. Now it's designed for everyday painting, not just for skies. It's a wash brush. And what a wash means is not having a shower. What a wash <laughs> brush means is, is the way you put the paint down on your paper. That's how it works, basically. So that's a wash. So if I just use the brush normally to wet the entire sheet of paper, we're going to paint a couple of nice different skies on this paper. That's the plan. Oh, nice. You can smell the fear, can't you? Oh, yeah, I like, I like watching these together. Or is it excitement? It's, I think it's excitement. I think it probably is are we excitement. still doing the Sunday classes? Yes. Are they back are. on now? Yeah, it's on every week, every Sunday. This week is. I forgot to ask you before. 
it's a farm it's actually like an old farm building with some cockerels and hens and things around so a beautiful one folks that's sunday the 6th of feb 6th of feb watercolor, watercolor TV. tv it's only tenner primary colors all you need it's all you need also you matthew facebook in. matthew palmer artist yeah make sure you follow back There's lots of stuff on there <laughs> so i'm watching the paper and then we'll lay down some colors now i'm going to be using primary colors these are available in the pick and mix or you can just use whatever primary colors you've got so it might be a red it can be any red it could be any yellow or orange and any blue it's fine okay. so i want to use a yellow actually and this yellow is is natural yellow light it is available it's a bright yellow i've got it on the brush now this is where the brush starts to shine because you can lay down these beautiful vibrant colors make a nice sunset here and it's just such a soft and workable bristle to work with it's a beautiful surface so a nice rich yellow don't be afraid to use it quite thick as well so i'm i'm using the brush with the right in facing to the left and that way it's using the widest part of the brush let's clean the brush at that point we'll go straight in and what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of red to that so it's going to go a little bit orange straight in now because it's a special bladed shape what that means is that it's quite easy to reactivate the colour with it as well because that shape seems to work better for reactivation. We've got a wonky easel. So we'll bring that down. Layer the colours together. It's such an effortless thing to do when you're working like this. Let's introduce some blue into this. Again, another primary colour. Now, if we put the blue in with the orange, it goes a little bit grey, which is good. But we'll keep going with the blue. So... These brushes have replaced my standard size 20 brush and my standard size 6 brush because they are the same brush with that added effect for painting skies and trees. So I'm working them through. So these in theory are now going to be your go-to brushes that's that what you these start are. any pictures that's up. These are now your go-to. This is what you'd start any picture with, I'm guessing. Absolutely, that's exactly what these brushes are. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this magic tool, which is not available on the show, <laughs> and we're going to pop this probably here. And that's just a coin wrapped in kitchen paper, so it's giving us a nice sunset. Let's paint in some clouds. Let's bring some clouds into play. This is where this brush starts to shine, this, this special shape of the brush. So we're going to take some blue, um, and that's going to be on one side of the brush. And then we're going to take some of the dark skin tone that's also in the one day special as well so on the brush it's it's hard to say but we've got these two colors we've got blue on that side and we've got dark skin on that side now into the palette i want to squash the brush forward blend it forward and it gives you this almost like a flat top almost like a deer foot kind of shape or a horse's hoof yeah and that's what makes this brush paint clouds easier it is a struggle for people I've watched people for years at workshops painting skies and clouds and it just makes the process easier and we can twist now what's happening here is we're getting a little bit of both colors so where it's gone a bit gray that's the blue coming through where it's gone a bit brown is obviously the other side of the brush so it's making use and the reason we chose this bristle is because it's the perfect shape for this and if you've ever seen a sunset sun's just about gone you get these gorgeous sort of dark brown and silhouette clouds. Let's tilt that forward just a touch. Now what we'll do is we'll bend this forward again and we'll twist. Now if you want to go larger with your clouds, you can use the brush in a slightly different way or you can gradually lift the brush off the paper and you can make use of the point of the brush. We're getting really nice fine clouds. Now it's a little twist. It's the perfect shape for this, and that's what I wanted, the brush that did this. And then it kind of led me to think, well, you can use this not just for clouds. It's good for distant trees. It's good for stippling. It's good for, it's good for those everyday washes that we use in watercolour. So that nice little twist there. So you can see how the sky is forming. But look how it's made up of two colours. Now, if you want to get a bigger cloud, a really dramatic cloud, then you can change the way the brush actually works. Okay. So what you can do is you can pick up your two colours again, so you get the blue and we'll get that dark skin as well. But the difference here is that you can sort of lay the brush flat in your palette or your plate, because all you want is some kind of plate or something to mix your colours in. You don't need fancy palettes. I mean, they're optional. They're nice to have, but you don't need them. But look how the brush all of a sudden goes really 
nice and wide. It's a beautiful wide brush. It's yeah. spread out. It's the nature of the actual bristle. It's replicating to its best ability a pure sable. And pure sable brushes will cost hundreds of pounds. They are so expensive because sable is more expensive now than gold. It really is a premium product. Oh. So that curve is perfect for getting nice, big, fluffy, twisty clouds. So you can really twist it. It's just the, it's just the right shape. It really is. Now, another really good advantage of this blade is if I clean the brush really, really well, and give it a good old squeeze. Now, when I squeeze this brush, uh, we can see. Can we see Matthew's elegant squeezing? <laughs> there we, there, there we, it there is. we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. It's quite satisfying that. But look at this nice fan shape. So you've turned your brush into a fan brush all of a sudden. This is like a blade. Bring that up to the picture, and we can put some highlights in the cloud. So we can lift off. It lifts off colour, and that's because it's a sable. It's an imitation sable. It's not just a synthetic brush, it is an imitation sable, and that is what's special about this. And you just have a look at the price of a size 20 imitation sable brush. It's well, well over £20 just for the one. This is a size 20 here. But look how that blade is allowing me to add beautiful... It's this lifting the colour off. Even if that was dry, I could still go in and wash off with that blade. All it needs is a bit of moisture. But is this is also me? a testament to the paper, is it not? It's a good paper as well. Yep, absolutely. So right, it's the recipe. So it's all included. So the paper with the brushes as well, it's, it's just a recipe for success. It's a good combination. And everyone likes to paint good skies. Watercolour is the perfect medium for skies. It suits the softness, the way the paint spreads. But look how nice you can... If I just get that brush and give it a nice... Just gives it depth. We can do slow motion on the craft store. Look at that. Of course we can. Big budget stuff. Oh. So it really drags out. And if you think, well, that looks a bit like a line there. It's a bit of a line over this side. It's a bit like a football shirt, Mr. Palmer. How do you cure it? Well, you can go back in and you can use this brush as a blender as well because of the shape of it. So you can just go in and give that a bit of a... Give it a bit of a... And it, and it sort of drags out that line and makes it look like a gradual... But you've all seen the sun go down and it illuminates the bottom of those clouds. And that's what we're trying to capture here. So, having a look around the studio, I mean, you'll see all the beautiful paintings that feature similar skies. Let's leave that to dry. We'll come back to it shortly. Right, and before why we leave that to dry, let me show you the paintings first. Let me show you what you can do, and then we will break down uh, the budget that we've got. Uh, break down the budget. Break down the deal that we've got. And we'll put them into small little budgets for you as well, because it is an amazing deal that we've got. But you can now do these beautiful sort of skies, these dark nights, these stormy clouds that you've got there. And as Matthew's just done that, there's no scenery in that picture that Matthew's just done, but already you can see the depth. You can see sitting on that balcony over in wherever you want to be, uh, to be honest, on this one is what you're looking at on this. Uh, but then you've got those beautiful daytimes. These are also on the DVD as well. So you can do those beautiful daytime sceneries uh, that you've got there. And once you start sort of getting the knack, as it were, of all of these, you start mixing and matching. So you take that little bit of the night that you've already got, then you turn it into day, and then you add it into that picture that you've already done, that little snow scene that Matthew taught us with that little robin, that post box. We think, well, now I can use those brushes and sort of really adapt into that. Maybe you're going to do that Sunday tutorial course with our Matthew, uh, watercolour.tv, uh, that you've got there. So you can then take all that and then add that into your pictures. But I think a sky really does make a picture. It really adds something to the picture that you would never have had uh, before anywhere else. Look how beautiful these pictures are all together that you've got. Absolutely stunning. Right then, let's go through uh, the deal itself. Let's start with the brushes uh, that we've got. Now remember, you can buy them individually, £19.99 is what you're looking at uh, for these ones. The details for those are at the bottom of the screen at the moment. So £19.99 for the brushes on their own. But they're a TV launch, never been seen before on TV. But your first flexible payment is the same as what you're getting the brushes for. So that first flexible payment is basically selling, giving you the brushes. But then I can make that even better. 
So you've got the brushes that are made with a perfect sky and clouds that you're going to need for. Then we move on to the DVD. Was just made for this bundle. So it wasn't a generic DVD that's been put out everywhere. It was made just for this bundle. It was made just for us here at the craft store. Now you won't find it anywhere else. You won't be able to buy it anywhere else. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's a one run print. So once you've got this, you've got it. You've got on there 36 minutes of goodness, 36 minutes of pure sky. Uh, three skies is what you've got on. And it takes you through all the stormy clouds to so the daytime clouds that I was talking about to so those nighttime skies. And then you've got everything in between. But it is literally looking like over Matthew's shoulder. So it's like being at one of those master classes. So you can watch it. You can rewind it back, go in and have a little practice uh, that you've got there as well on this. From there, from your DVD, we've then got uh, the three colours. The three, and we're also talking about the brand new white uh, that we've got here as well. So you've got that brand new white colour that you wouldn't have seen before. It only launched just before Christmas is what you're getting. 247235 is the item number. Then you've got your natural skin tone dark in there. So once again, start adding these. Then you've got your greens for the fields and your, uh, your orchards uh, that you're going to go down on this as well. Uh, from that, you've then also got your five papers. You've got your five big papers that we've got in there. Now, if you do what Matthew does, cut it in half, you're going to get 10 sheets rather than the five that you've got. Maybe cut it down even smaller if you're just practicing and you want to have a go with your clouds because you are getting that smaller brush. But for these, for your paper and your paint, it works out to be like nine pounds something. So it works out to be nine pounds 86, 986 today because your brushes are 20, bar a penny, your DVD's 10. So 20, 10, 30. So that's 30 pounds just for these. So this is nine pounds and 86 pence. You've already got a 22 pound saving. A third of the stock now has already gone. I don't know if we'll have more of this either. I generally don't. I don't know if it's the case of once it's gone, it has gone. Very busy. 247235 is your item number that you are looking at in the, in the beautiful big bundle uh, that we've got here. £22 saving should be 6186 Something else that you may want to go for are the fan brushes. Now, I know who is a fan of these brushes. Ad Janice absolutely adore them really really does she loves doing her trees absolutely that's all i've seen for the last three weeks <laughs> three weeks and i know matthew's seen it as well because he commented the other day on one that's all i ever see on janice's facebook page now is because she loves doing them she's and got these, a book she could but she could but the, it's not that janice is amazing anyway at painting but it's down to the brushes no, Janice is amazing at everything she does. She really, really is. But you know what I mean? But it's down to the brushes that make it eat quick and easy. And she goes, oh, I'll just do another trip. And that's what she does. And she knocks them out. And they're stunning. Every one looks like a piece of art. Lovely. Yeah, there you go. That's great. Uh, that's Brilliant. what Matthew thinks. That's all I've got uh, to say. 16, yeah, 16 Less is more. <laughs> 16 pounds and <laughs> nine. He thinks they're all right, I'm guessing. They're beautiful. 16 pounds and 99 pounds. Six five five. That's eight, a good three. price on them brushes, by the way. Good it price. works five pounds sixty a brush. It's a good price. Good price. He don't say much, but what he says, gold. Uh, Sixteen pounds <laughs> and ninety nine pence. At six five five eight three six <laughs> is your item number. Then we've got your pick and mix. Now, your pick and mix paints in these, they're full tubes that we're looking at. Now, normally at this point, and I'm going to do it now, I ask Matthew to pick uh, any three, and they're the three that sell out first. So. I'll buy, what would you like? You've got what? three to choose from. Okay, you want, if you're new to painting, you want to go for your three primaries. So, the ones I've just used, natural blue, natural yellow light, and natural red. That's your three primary colours. If you've got three primary colours, go for something a wee bit different. Go for natural grey, because natural grey is a, a keeping up, Adam. Um, natural, natural grey, well done. Oh, is that natural this brown? This is a bit like some oh, that's kind of natural brown. Where's it, natural grey? It's like the Krypton factor. Uh, um, it's all right. No one else. Natural grey is a beautiful colour as well. <laughs> you understand that. Which is the kind of ready-made shadow colour. Grey's not on there. Is it not? No. But it's on the, it's on the pick and mix. It's available. It's available. That's natural um, green. Natural grey. Oh, there's natural grey. Is that natural grey? 
Where is it? Where are we looking at? There's natural grey. The purple. Uh, so your natural grey that you've got there. So, yeah, if you're new to painting, then you want to go for your primary colours, which is your yellow, which is natural blue, natural yellow, uh, light, and natural red. That's perfect. Great addition to your one day special. Now, I bet quite a few of you have got those primary colours already. So, w why not go for something a little bit different? And of course, the one day special does have something different in there with the white, the skin tone, and the green. But in addition to that, why not go for something like natural orange? Great mm. for sunsets. Beautiful, beautiful colour for uh, painting in the autumn tones as well. Or maybe you want to go for natural turquoise. That is the colour of the sea. That is the seascape colour. Um, so go for turquoise, go for orange, and the special one, the one that shines out of that entire range without a doubt because it's the most common one, is natural, wait for it, grey. Natural grey is the one that is, look at that, eh? On cue. Um, natural grey is the colour of shadows. So if you look oh. around the studio at the back of where we're stood, lots of grey shadows. I've got a grey shadow under the chin. I've almost got two, but not quite. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you see? Pretty grey, pretty natural grey. Um, <laughs> it's the perfect colour, perfect colour. It's like Bruce Forsyth in Bruce. <laughs> good guy, good guy. Uh, 16,098 <laughs> pence. If you jump to the website, they're all on there as well. You've got all your natural uh, green light on there. You've got your green, you've got your natural red. Now, you, you know all the colours uh, that's there. Um, and choosing any three for £16.98 uh, is what you were looking at on this one. Worth having a little go. So, we've let it dry. What do we do next? So, we've done the wash. We've put some clouds in. We've used a 5p to do the sun. That's how he makes his money. Every time he comes. Um, puts in a love pot. Uh, so, where are we up to next? I used to use pound coin, but <laughs> I used to use a pound coin, but they changed shape of the swines. <laughs> It's actually a penny because times are hard. So, right. Um, <laughs> what we're going to—if you're feeling flush, two pound coin. Oh, Beautiful. big sun. Big like moon. a good fear, creepy moons. That like this one over there. That one. Oh. Uh, okay. So it's nice and dry. So that was an example of a sky. I just love how easy it is, folks. Don't be afraid to try this. It is such a wonderful thing to have. So if you're new to painting, these brushes make perfect sense to introduce into your your painting box. So I want to show you how they're not just about, you know. Um, skies and clouds because I, I want to paint a bit of a silhouette down here at the bottom and for this I'm going to use the smaller brush okay so we'll, we'll grab the smaller brush and we're going to mix the dark skin tone which is in the one day special uh, with some blue which is a standard blue it might be a blue that you've already got or it might be a blue from the pick and mix natural blue is the color what I've just used here so blue is pretty standard stuff really of course natural blue is a slightly brighter blue and I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to bend the brush slightly up so it kind of goes a little bit like that kind of thing so it makes the bristles go a little bit splayed out. Remember that special shape of the brush and you get that nice blade. It's basically a perfect replica, just a smaller in scale of the larger one. I've got the kitchen paper here in case I start crying. It's quite emotional <laughs> to be back after Christmas. That's, is this yeah. your first time back? It is, yeah. Ah. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Easter. Happy Valentine's, actually. Happy so good Valentine's. Cool soon. And if we um, use this brush here, and we slightly stroke the brush to the side, look how I'm using the blade part of the brush. Now, if you're thinking he's painting a telegraph pole, you'd be wrong. Palm you're tree. Palm tree. I told you these shows are scripted, didn't I? <laughs> We're going to bring it Don't over. Don't tell him that. Bring it over, and then we'll do the same one again. We like a good palmer tree, we do. Happy palmer palmer tree. Palmer. But that bit of, of a tap on kitchen paper, using the blade of the brush, makes that nice kind of oh. textured. And we'll bring that up and we'll get a nice curve to it. Look at that. But it, it like catches the sun. Now, if you want to make it look a little bit crisper, that's when you can utilise, look at that brush on the side. It looks like a normal size eight brush or a size six brush. It's such a beautiful thing that you can make use of the point of the brush. So I'm just going to sharpen up that edge a little bit down here. Okay. It's like a normal paint brush. And if there's one thing I've learned in life that you, you need to make sure that you don't forget your coconuts, okay? No, never forget your coconuts. I'm a bit worried about putting them in now, actually. I think we'll put them in later. I yeah, I think boy. that's probably a sensible idea. I think we're painting the fronds first. Okay, let's do the fronds. <laughs> now, natural green. Um, greens are colours. What's the big finale of the coconuts? 
Um, After they you, all say. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a, if you've got a smart speaker, should we wind up the smart speakers at home? Yeah, go on, do Shall it. We? Yeah, go on. Alexa, play. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> I'll be impressed if that actually works. If it did work, please email me. Yes, We've got another 20 minutes, studio I'd at the craft If your Alexa's just gone off, Alexa, play I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Hello, OK, Google. Play I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Let's do them all. Hey, Siri, play I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Back to the fronds. <laughs> Back to the fronts. Back, back to the fronts. Happy days. <laughs> Happy days. Now what we'll do here is we'll use the green. Now greens are quite interesting because greens are colours that are very hard to get looking right. So we're going to paint the line across the top, and then we're going to use the f blade of the brush. Look at that! It makes the fronds all I the just fronds. It makes it easier. It does. I think that. Janice is going to have a great time with these brushes. Oh, I think she will as well. I Facebook's think we're going to start getting palm buzzing, trees it? now. It's going to <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> Global warming, that's what this is. Global warming. This is actually Peterborough, this. Is it? In about a thousand years' time. Oh, I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, it's like the car park. <laughs> that was a conifer till our security guard started cutting it down. <laughs> but it's very easy to do these, and the green is perfect. Um, it's designed to replicate nature. But this is where your pictures really start coming to life. So these are not just your sky and clouds brushes. These are now sort of your brushes for your little bits of detail when you want to do those little fine ferns and your, your, your stems and your trees yeah, and things. Yeah, think of ferns in a woodland. I mean, that's ideal, isn't it? Yeah. Just in different contexts, you know? So let's just pop this, let's pop the fronds on here. And uh, we'll just get those coming through there looking good. Again, you can just, you can, you can just go back in and you can just kind of, because watercolour is transparent and because this brush is nice and pointy, you can just say, well, actually, I need to get a bit more refinement on my fronds. You know, something you've always thought in life, but you can do it. And you can just bring it in, bring it in, and you can do smaller ones. And it's just a nice thing to do. Now, there's a couple of lonely um, palm trees there. Um, coconuts, they're going to be quite small, to be fair, on this one. So I'm just going to use the tip of the brush just to paint in a couple of coconuts there. That one's called Winston, maybe. <laughs> so we'll have that one. Bring that in. Just the one. Well, there's three, but you can't see the other ones. They're hidden behind the uh, fronds. Oh, OK. Now, that really wants just a couple of moments to dry. We'll come back to it, and then we're going to do, do a bit of sea. A bit of sea and a bit of... Distant landscape, yeah? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Um, we're very busy for the one day special. You can sort of see why uh, that you're getting on this. Well, there's a lot of people watching. We all do. We all stop everything where Matthew's painting because you're like, oh, it's a black white piece of card now. He's turned it into a beautiful picture. But it is. But you can do this as well. And this is the joy. You can do this. And we, we do it all in real time. So you can watch these shows back when you're getting brushes home. When you get your pick and mix of your paint. Maybe you've already got paint at home but you won't have these brushes. You can attempt this, and it may look something like it, but when you get the brushes, it's gonna make it easier. It's just gonna flow. And not only are you getting your brushes on their own worth 20 pounds, bar a penny, what's a penny between friends, that you're looking at on this one, you are also gonna get that DVD to do those three landscapes uh, that you've got in there. So you're not even on your own. You haven't even got to remember what math you do, because it's all there in that 39 minutes, 39 minutes, 36 minutes, uh, a DVD uh, that you get, that was made just for this show. So this wasn't just made and they've had in the back catalogue for a while, it was made just for this one day special. So once it's gone, this one day special is over tomorrow at six o'clock, the DVD will be gone as well. No doubt it will not be back again. So that is 30 pounds on its own. So you are looking at £30 for the set of brushes and also the DVD. So that makes £9.86 for your three tubes of your watercolour paint and also your watercolour cardstock, your paper pack that you're getting here. 300 GSM, it is that beautiful cotton. It holds the water for longer, which just means it, you haven't got a rush. You can take your time. You can enjoy the process. You haven't got to keep dousing it with water and giving it a spritz here and a spritz there. It's going to hold that water for a lot, lot longer. So that means you can do more with it and your work will just naturally flow. And if you've ever tried watercolour and you're not using the right cardstock, and Matthew will tell me if I'm wrong, that if you do use the wrong cardstock and you have the wrong sort of paper, you get them harsh lines where you try and do a wash, but everything just stops dead. 
Yeah, it kind of stains the paper, so like a, a you said inferior, but it's true, but an inferior watercolour paper, you put it on and it dries and it stains, it doesn't move like this does. I mean, this can be washed off with the brushes, you know, in the water and everything, and that is what makes the difference. Paper is, is the one thing that you really want to sort of, you know, just get that bit extra out of, and this is the perfect one for you. And it is artist quality is what we're talking about as well. Matthew doesn't just put his name on anything. Uh, so it's hard. Now, well over a third of the stock now has already gone in the first live hour. Our Catherine will be here at 8 o'clock uh, to do another live hour, but already a third of the stock has gone this hour. Now, don't forget about the pick and mix as well. The details for that are at the bottom of the screen that you're looking at there. Loads of colourways uh, for you to choose from on this one. I've sort of put them, I sort of put them in sets of three for you. So you've got your primary colours if you're just starting out and you may want to go because once you've got your primaries, you can sort of make your any other colours as well. And if you want to do sort of your, uh, your, your skies and things, you've got your beautiful oranges in there and your shadows, shadowy grey. Uh, that sounds like Farrell and Bull paint. Uh, that you've got £16.98. Now, your SAA membership that we're looking at is a brand new website, as you all know. So it's slightly different on this one. So scroll down. You don't scroll to the bottom and go to description anymore. Uh, you can read the description. It's all there. It's the second bullet point down. You're looking for the fickle finger of fate. There is the fickle finger of fate. Click here for the essay. Not that. There it is. Fickle finger. Go for the fickle finger and click it. Once you've clicked it, that will now open up a brand new world. It will open up a whole new world is what it will open because this is where you're going to get your freebies. A £45 worth of freebies. Which means, if my maths is correct, you're joining the SAA for free. You are not paying anything because then what they're sending to you, well actually, they're gifting you five pounds on top of that. So in theory, they're paying you to join the SAA. Yeah, because you get a five uh, um, in the form of uh, a voucher to spend in the catalogue. So in theory, now the SAA are paying you to become members. Times are hard, friends of you. Thank you, SA. I'm liking <laughs> this. We carry on. I might make more money out of this as we're going on. Uh, right then. It's worth the first thing about that, that though. Join twice, you might get even more. Uh, right then, what are we up to? It's an investment in your painting future, is the essay. It's maybe 50 quid it keeps the paint piece. flowing, keeps it flowing through your veins, quite important. Nice and dry. I just want to wrap this one up by popping in some distance. Let's take a little bit of masking tape. I mean, this is just normal off the shelf stuff. Remove stickiness, and then we're going to pop this about a quarter up, give or take, probably about there. Stick that on. The background's nice and dry. And then I'm going to use the small, the small brush, which I've said for many years, a size six brush is my go-to off-the-shelf watercolour brush that I use every day for all the detail. Well, what we've got here is, is pretty much... It's, it's somewhere between a six and a eight. They don't actually make a size seven brush, but we've got one here. Oh. It's a pointy brush. Um, but on the side, it's got that nice look for doing things like the clouds and, of course, the beautiful palm trees. Let's dilute the colour that we've just used to paint, just, just adding water, uh, to paint the trunks and the coconut. So adding water to the colour, which makes it thinner, which reveals more of the background colour. Got the kitchen paper, which is always good. Give it a bit of a tap so it removes the excess. And I can use this beautiful point of this brush, you can see just how nice and pointy it is, to paint in some Caribbean or Hawaiian mountains, volcanoes, Ooh, nice. whatever they are. You know what I mean, don't I you? I know, yeah. Canary Islands, Fort Adventure, all that kind of thing. Oh, Pop those say. in. This is brightening up your February evening. Well, it looks like the dunes just north of Coraleco in Fort Ventura. There you go. So that's exactly where I was thinking when I was doing this. It's nice of that, it's where I used to work, I worked there for years. Clean the brush, wipe it on tissue a few times. So look how you can get um, clean edges as well, is um, texture and clouds. And let's just go a little bit dark with the colour, so it's the blue and, and skin tone together will make that nice dark colour. Or you can use natural grey if you've got natural grey from, uh, from the pick and mix. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use the point of the brush. I'm going to paint in some distant stuff, a few bars, a few cocktail bars. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to read the email out. Who's the email from? <laughs> I can see. Uh, thank you, Donna. Donna read out about the email. <laughs> Myself and Matthew heard it exactly at the same time. Um, there, her Alexa has just started playing. Tonight's going to be a good night. Now, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Well, tonight's going to be a good night. If you get your one-day special, bringing it back. Scripted. 
Told you. It's not, nothing <laughs> scripted. <laughs> nothing is scripted. Improv. It's like, whose line is it anyway? Oh, I used to love we're gonna, that. We're, gonna, we're just going to pop a little bit of shadow in here. So on the opposite side to the sun, I'm popping these, these little bits of darkness. Clean brush. Clean the brush. Wipe it on the tissue a few times. So it's a damp brush, and then you can reactivate the paint because it's good paper, good paint, but the brushes have got that bristle that allows you to reactivate colour. And look how that gives a bit of tonal work to those those hills, Caribbean, Hawaiian, volcanic things. And then we'll take the tape off nice and steady. So you've got your distant hills, if you like. And then we'll just pop a little bit of C. Again, I'm going to use blue for this. So pop a little bit of blue in there. Um, I'm just going to introduce a little bit of that dark skin that's in the, uh, the one day special. And then I want to use the point of the brush again and painting a reflection of that to make it look more like water. So little horizontal lines would work really well. So little horizontal lines. This is all done with a small brush. So you can see that nice reflection. Now, let's not forget in the one day special, we've got the new white. Oh yeah, the white. We've not seen it yet. That'd be perfect, but pop some light in this picture and in the clouds. Let's do that, let's do that next. Let's take some white and we'll pop a blob in here. Now, white, I've been working very close with the guys at the SAA to develop this white paint because I wanted white that's easy to paint with and stays opaque because if you take a standard white paint or white acrylic or white gouache, which is a famous one that people use, it's very thick and heavy. So as soon as you dilute it, it disappears. It goes on okay, but it disappears when it dries. This has a property that allows it to be easy to paint with as in it's nice and fluid, but you can use it in a way where it's very, very thick as well. And it will stay opaque, that's what's special about it. So here, I don't know whether this will come across because it's white, but we're going to pop some little horizontal lines. Yeah, we can see that. Can you see that okay? So I'll pop some white there, and that's going to create the reflection of the uh, beautiful. Yeah. And it's got a slight, it's a warm white, what I mean by that, it's got a it's got a bit of yellow in it, so it's not pure white. Watercolour paper, a good paper like this is not pure white. It's got that little off, so it matches the paper. So if you want to paint a sheep in a field or something like that, <laughs> then uh, it will look as though it's the white paper, which is quite nice. So a nice bit of white. And also, let's shoot up to the old clouds here. And let's just pop some little highlights. Let's pop a little white highlight coming in here, look which I often do in my sky, with the brush. Pop a couple of these. Now I'll blend these in in a second. Anticipation's off the form, we'll bring those in. <laughs> we'll clean the brush really well, really well. Get all the white out of it. This is the small brush again, remember? And I'm just using a bit of water. We can just move it. White is so easy to blend, especially something as fluid as this. It's a fluid white that is opaque, because normally what happens, you use white, it just disappears. It disappears, but this stays poor, and that's what's really good about it. it allows the paint to flow. And look how that's giving a little bit of light catching in the clouds. It makes quite a difference. You could use the white any way you want to. You could pop a little bit of white on the side of your coconut as though the sun's catching it, or just on the top of the fronds mm. there. Does that make sense? And of course, even down the edge of there. So it's like the sun is just illuminating that little bit of the front. And then we've look got a bit of water. That. And the water just allows you to blend it. And it's so easy to blend using the point of the brush using the point of the brush. So remember, not only are we giving you the brand new brushes, the brand new DVD, we're also giving you the brand new uh, uh, Matthew Palmer white paint, which is a pleasure to use. And it is a game changer. People that take part in those virtual workshops know that white comes into it, and it's just an absolute game changer. It really is. Well, thank you, little look. We are approaching 40% now of your one day special. In the first live hour, our launch hour, 40% of the stock has already gone. It is a world TV exclusive. Uh, is what you're looking at for the brushes. I was going to say something else that I didn't. Uh, it's a World TV exclusive for the brushes. Never been seen before. £19.99 and pence on their own. DVD exclusive to the craft store. You won't find it anywhere out. You won't even find it on Create and Craft yet. It was made just for the craft store at the moment. It was made just for these brushes that you are looking at on these. So you won't find that DVD anywhere else to my knowledge at the moment. From there, that together is £30. 
brushes, 19.99 bar a penny. Then you've also got the £10 DVD that you've got. From there, with that means £9.89 today, you're going to get you three of the watercolour paints. The first one being the white, which is brand new, only released just after Christmas, I think. Is what you're getting of that. So it's that brand new white that you wouldn't have seen before. And you're also going to get, oh, you're going to get skin tone dark that's in there. And you're also going to get your beautiful green. And we're also going to throw in your watercolour paper pack as well. Five sheets of 300 GSM cotton paper is what you're looking at. 247235 is your item number for this one. £39.86 or two. Interest free, flexible payments is what you're getting on this. Um, Matthew, sum it all up for me. For those people that are in and maybe they've never bought a, a pack before. Maybe this is the first time you think, well, I haven't got all the other brushes. Do I need all the other brushes? Is this a good starting point for me to go on my crafty journey? It is. So basically what we're giving you here with these brushes is, is it's not just a brush that's designed to paint the sky in a cloud. It's not. You've seen me use it for the mountains. You've seen me use it for the uh, trees. It's, it's a, a, a wash brush. And I was going to call it a wash brush, but that means you might use it in the shower. So we call it a sky... Or the bath, whichever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so what you've got is two brushes. <laughs> What time is it? You, you've got two brushes that are designed for putting the washes down, like we did in the background, blending your paint, reactivation, but premium brushes, premium brushes. And that's what it's all about. It is, and you, you're not buying inferior. You're not buying inferior to buy twice. These are the brushes that Matthew will use every single day. And it's not, and he doesn't bring in just TV brushes. And when I mean TV brushes, the ones that he has specially made just for him because he's Matthew Palmer, because he's part of the SAA. And it is, you don't, you genuinely use the one day special that we've got here, don't you? Absolutely, all the products I've designed are for me to use that have come from me teaching people for years, because I know what people struggle with. And these make it easier. You see? So it's not, he's not got special brushes or anything like that. It's worth having a little go. 39 pounds, 86 pence is what you're looking at. 247, 235 is your item number. Uh, and once you get painty, you can go and join those little virtual classes every Sunday to do a little farm scene, watercolour.tv. This week, join up on Facebook as well. Matthew Palmer Artist. That's the one. There you go. Uh, thank you, Matthew. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Always better. Okay, he's back at 8 o'clock with our Catherine. Don't leave me on my own. I've got a happy hour next. Just me. Just me.